Hello everybody, my name is Pixel. Welcome to another Simulator Sunday. Now you may wonder, why why am I dressed like this? Is it is it real cold out? Because it's February, is it cold out? No, no. I am dressed like this because we are playing Snow Plowing Simulator. We are, oh, we own our own snow plowing business and we are gonna get right into this and we're just gonna see how many streets we can plow, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. Extreme difficulty. No, no, we don't know extreme difficulty. How quickly tool maneuverability. Oh, we, you know what? We went the whole, we went the whole realistic. We went the realistic simulation. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to edit anything too high or make it too easy. Nah. Nah, nah. We gotta get in this. Oh, what we got here. That music. That, that music is loud. Okay, so we've got our music dropped. Where's where's our objectives? Ah, here we go. On your computer, you'll find software to connect the online store where you'll be able to buy tools that will allow you to manually clear snow. Plows connected to various vehicles, clothes that'll keep you warm, and depending on the number of pockets, carry more or less power-ups with you. <laughs> I, I didn't know we were getting into Mario style here with the star power-ups or anything. Power-ups are products that provide you with the energy to work. Oh, you mean like energy drinks. Okay, energy drinks equal power-ups. Additional equipment or medicine if you get sick. Items become available at various stages of the game. Also remember to manage the budget reasonably. Otherwise, you will be soon out of pocket. Okay, so let's check out our old computer right here. Let's see what we got. We start off with a small shovel. You know, you, you gotta start somewhere. You know, you can't, you can't come right in here and just buy the big old snow plows. Nope, nope, you, you gotta start off small. Now, where's my, where's my snow shovel? Description of the job. Clearing snow from the path to the office. You will not earn money on it, but will allow customers to place orders. Remember to buy the right tool as well. Alright, well... I, I gotta wait for my snow shovel to get here, otherwise I can't do a thing. Some items purchased in the online store will be soon delivered by courier. You will know that the courier has arrived and he will definitely honk. And an appropriate message will appear. And this is the place where couriers leave parcels. Oh, okay. So I see I see the sign right here. Oh, hey, we can actually see hands and feet. Awesome. You know, I, oh, there's a courier. Wow. Wow, guys, fast. He honked his horn, he dropped off that snow shovel, and I do not see a car in sight anywhere. Man, we've just about we've just about uh had a made a path just by walking. There's a mailbox next to each property where you can check what task you have or report the completion of the order of the client. Remember to perform your tasks as best as possible because both your salary and the grade you will receive for your work depend on it. You can also report the completed work by pressing the appropriate button and you will see information about it in the lower left corner. Alright, let's grab our bad boy show snubble. You Now you have a shovel and you can snow and you can snow off with it. I, I can what? All information appearing on the screen is remembered, and the number next to the icon indicates how many of the information is saved. You can always enter and see messages that you missed by clicking the I key as usual. No, no, it's that's not usual. All right, press one to use the shovel. Now, where where's the sh where's the snow going? That's that's where I want to know. I wish I could. Let's see, hold Q to see what needs to be cleared. Bruh. The, the info boxes, they, they gotta they gotta ease up a little bit, you know? I got a job to do, and they wanna keep like, constantly talking to me about all this stuff. When you execute a snow removal order from a property, a map of the property appears in the upper right corner. Gray color on it shows the buildings, and the blue color shows the area to be cleared of snow. The value presents how much percentage of the order you have completed and with the color changes to green it means you can already pass the job but remember the more and the faster you clear the snow the better you will be rated above the map there's an icon of the tool you are currently using 
Okay, so we we have our we have our snow path right here. You know what? This 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 ain't too bad, you know. You know, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like people, you know, if you've ever played like House Flipper or our Power Wash Simulator, you know, you have these progress meters. And you get the sense of satisfaction where you're gradually, you're making a place look better and better. And I do like how the snow kind of moves forward on its own to where like, wait, hold on. Okay. I I'd seen the amount of kilograms that were of snow that were being picked up with each snow shovel. And I was thinking, like, you know, maybe, maybe if I hold the button, maybe I can lift more. But I think what this is, is the more that I, the more that I shovel the snow, the thicker the piles get. Oh, oh my God, that was a, that was a fast one. All properties you work on are available when your work is appreciated by the client, and they will recommend you to another person. Entering the area will not be possible until you receive such a recommendation. Some properties, despite the recommendations, will still not be available until you snow the access road, so follow the messages properly. Okay, you know what? That's that's good to know. It's good to know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I was pressing the Q button before, but you know, nothing was popping up. So I was like, man, I wonder... I wonder if it's gonna do like power wash simulator where the where the whole thing lights up like a Christmas tree and it just kinda lets you know, you know. Oh, can I can I speed this? Can I speed this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get that snow up. Yeah. Yeah. We're plowing through now. When you're inappropriately dressed, you start to lose the temperature. And when you have a temperature below 36 degrees Celsius for a long time, the likelihood of disease increases. The, the info boxes, the info boxes, they're, they're so invasive, they're so invasive, like, they could easily do just like the temperature thing at the top did, you know, just flash it at the top, let us, let us read it for a second, don't like, throw it in front of our face like this to where we have to stop and we can't do anything, that's just, that, that's just an inconvenience, you know. Be sure to watch your temperature. The most important thing is to wear good clothes appropriate to the weather conditions. If that temperature stays below normal for a long time, it's very likely you will get sick. You have to buy and take medicine and pay extremely high hospital bills and go into debt. And then you'll probably just die anyway, so don't even worry about it. To warm up, you can return to the hub and have a warm drink. You can drink from an espresso machine or a kettle at the hub. But you can also take a warm drink with you as a thermos. A thermos is a great convenience. You know what? You know what? It sure is. It sure is a great convenience. Hmm. I think something flashed in the snow. Uh, where? Where did you see something that flashed in the snow? Oh, God dog it. I didn't, I didn't read that. <laughs> the, you see? That's what I'm talking about, okay? So I was pressing the Q button just to see if I could see if something flashed in the snow and what do you know another little info box pops up and I press Q at the wrong time and then info box goes away so like what am I what am I supposed to do about that they did say press the I button uh, let's see if you don't find a find in a few minutes a marker showing her position will appear above her I didn't know I didn't know it was for male I guess uh, a marker is for mail. You can disable this option in the main menu as so as to not make your game easier. It is enabled as standard. Now you see that would have been nice to read whenever it popped up on the screen. But of course the thing's going to be so invasive that it just popped up and I press Q and apparently Q makes the boxes go away. Let's see. See the map. Oh wow this is... This is a quite large area, and we are right down here at this bottom little corner, so you can just see the how very, very large this map is, just based off of our size. 
And based on our map in our upper right corner up there, we're almost done shoveling our path. Just how much I have to pass all the levels in the garage first? Yes, you do, buddy. Yes, you do. Oh, wow. Okay, so it, it's going to... It, it's gonna basically making me shovel the dirt right here But you know what if we wanna if we want to do good and we want to have our great Clients referring us to other people. You know what we got to do a thorough job. We can't be leaving strips of snow like this Leading up to our pathway, you know, we got to make it all clear we can't let people be slipping in the snow just because, you know, we were like, Oh, you know what? That little small strip. That's fine. That's fine. We, we don't, we don't need to, we don't need to shovel that up. Nah, nah, not at all. We're going to get our little strips. Oh, hey, there's our marker. Hey, when did, when did that get there? I don't remember seeing that, but you know what? Hold on, little marker. I, I've got a little bit of no shoveling to do right here. Okay. Now now I can get you. What? 500 bucks? Oh, is that me? <laughs> is that me right there? Oh, that's uh... I'm a big burly looking man, I'll tell you that. Uh, how do I... How do I pick this up? Do I have to... <laughs> do I have to scoop it up with the shovel? Well, that's that's not how to do that. Uh, how? Oh, I did have to click on it. Someone lost some money. <laughs> well, guess what? Somebody found some money now. Woo! 500 bucks! You know what? This is my property. I found it in my, in my driveway. So, guess who's $500 richer? <laughs> Money, 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 money. Money! Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to pick up these last little bits right here. Can I do that? Can I do no, no, we, we went too far back. We went too far back. We gotta scoop up the snow. This is this is a little bit of snow. You know what? We got we got some little got some little bitty pieces here and there. You know what? We got our job. We're we're 98% done. I'm just seeing I'm just seeing these little these little tiny bits of snow here and there. 98.8. You know what? You know what? We said that we'd be doing a complete job. We've got these little bits of snow. We we don't want to leave anything left behind. But you know, I tried. I tried picking up these little bits earlier. But no, apparently we were we were too close. We were too close to the sidewalk. It didn't want to let us pick it up. We're going to finish up this last little bit right here. 98.8. All right, here's one. 98.8. All the all these little bitty bits But you know what like I said, oh, it's, it's getting dark Yeah 100% so let's hit that let's hit that inner key Do we want to hand over the job? You know what we snowed a hundred percent. We're gonna hand over this job Heck yeah New customers can easily come to your office. Congratulations! There is still snow removal of the driveways under the garage gates. Just buy a more efficient tool. You know, just just that easy, you know? Just that easy. Hot coffee or tea will keep you warm when you're too cold. Yeah, you, you said that already. Why are these info screens popping up of stuff that we already know? Alright, we've got a small scraper now. You know what? Job's not done. Job is not done. Courier. Oh, I'm trying to equip my scraper before we can uh, even pick it up. All right, now we have the we have the snow scraper now. Yo, this is this is much better. Oh yeah, much much better. 
Uh oh, we have calories, you guys. When you work, when you work up, you use the energy you have. You can see it in the bar in the upper left corner of the screen. Make sure you always have enough strength to be able to work or return to the hub. <laughs> don't, don't pass out, Stardew Valley, <laughs> Stardew Valley style. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, this is this is so much easier. This is so much easier than that snow shovel. But you know what? Now. Now we've got big snow piles that we're going to have to clean up, I'm guessing. But you know what? Still, even, even with the big snow piles, this is still a whole lot easier than using the shovel again and again. Oh, we, we didn't even... We didn't even pick up... Uh, we didn't even pick up the big pile that we just made. We're going to... We're going to leave that alone, though. You know what? We're not going to look a good old uh, tool gift horse in the mouth over here. We're going to use our snow scraper. Oh, my God. Look. Look look how much better that is. Oh, my God. Who would, who would use a snow shovel whenever you've got stuff like this? But, you know, I am going to guess that after all the snow scraping is done... And we've got our snow piles like this. I think I think we're going to have to come back with the snow shovel. And we're going to have to pick up these small piles that we've that we've done. Because, you know, we, we can't just leave those snow piles just out in the middle of the driveway. You know what? That's not safe. That's not safe. We, but you know what? We got ourselves all wrapped up and warm. We've still got plenty of calories to work with. Uh-oh, though. You know, we've, we're at 36 degrees Celsius right now. They did say that if we drop below 36 degrees Celsius, then uh, things, things would not be too good for us. We'd get sick easier. We'd get disease easier. And you know what? Nobody wants that. I think something flashed in the snow. Oh boy, <laughs> are, are we going to be rich money bags again? I think so. I, I really hope, I really hope somebody left some more money in the snow for us. You know what, all this hard work that we're doing, all this hard work of keeping our shop clean, of keeping... Of keeping people safe, you know, whenever they walk up to our shop. Uh-oh. Uh, why? Why did that do that? I don't know. You know, I am wearing gloves. You know what? You you got to stay warm. And I guess I guess I didn't realize that, that I lifted my finger up off the mouse. And it, uh, it kind of stopped our snow shoveling days, you know? Let's get through this snow. You know, for where I live, where I'm from, we don't have snow. We don't have snow. I know that's, I know that's probably a really weird thing, especially for a lot of y'all in the country. But you know what? I live in the south. <laughs> I live in the south, next to, next to the Gulf Coast. It doesn't, it doesn't get cold enough down here for it to actually snow. I have seen snow. I can I can count on I can count on one hand how much times I've seen snow in my life. And you know what? That's okay. You know, I hear it I hear from a lot of people like just how inconvenient snow actually is. And you know what? Maybe I should actually count my blessings that we don't see snow as much as we do. Because I hear it's a real hassle, and the people who want snow are the ones who haven't actually experienced it. And you know what? They're probably right. They're probably right. But, you know, it would, it would just be a nice change of pace from what we're used to. Depending on the current status of the game and the activities you do, you'll have different functions available. Pay attention to the list of available functions and keys under which they are placed. It is displayed in the lower left corner. And there is a lot of stuff in that lower left corner, I tell you. Oh! Oh! Huh? 
Somebody... Somebody left a key to... <laughs> a private room, you say? Uh, uh, what, what kind of private room are we talking about, huh? Found a key to the private room. Okay, so... Where is the private room? Is is this the private room back here? No, this is... <gasps> we got a truck! We have a truck! We have our driver's license! We can drive a pickup truck all over the world, and over time, when you buy a suitable plow, you can clear snow from the roads. The pickup is equipped with a standard WAS steering and an automatic transmission. As always, pay attention to the available features displayed in the lower left corner. If your pickup truck gets stuck somewhere off the road you can't get out, call roadside assistance. Was that the private room? Is that the private room that I was supposed to be discovering over here? No, it doesn't look that way. We're gonna we're gonna clear up this little bit of snow because you know what? This just looks bad. This just looks bad. You know how are we gonna have a snow clearing service and having our place look like this? Let's scrape this road. Let's get these two. Let's get these two uh, coke lines picked up. Coke lines? No, no. There's there there is no drugs in our business. All right. There's nothing but good old clean. I mean, is snow clean? I mean, I guess that would depend on where you live. But from from my understanding, snow is kind of like rain. You know, it comes down, and, and you don't know whether it's clean or not. No, and for, and for the most part, snow is probably dirty. Ugh. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, it's, it's the wind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's getting... It's getting windy out here. Alright, so... I guess with the snow shovel... The snow shovel is how we get around our little corners around here. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the, the snow scraper... It can only go so far. And so we gotta... We gotta edge... We gotta edge with the snow shovel itself. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's that's why we have all these tools for the job. You know, you can't take care of all the work in the world with just one tool. You know, you you gotta have a wide assortment of tools to get your job done. Let's clean up this let's clean up this little edging job right here. We've got our we've got our snow scraper remnants over here. I do like I do like the weather. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've dipped. We've dipped below 36 degrees, and I know you guys can't really see it right now, but like, here hearing this like snowstorm, I actually got chills as if I'm actually cold, which is a weird thing because as you can see right here. I'm in a jacket, I'm in a hat, I'm in gloves. How dare how dare I get cold in a in a uh in clothes such as this. Okay, you know what? Inspecting this place. You know what? I think uh oh. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean up this last little bit right near the fence right here. Hey, hey. Don't stop me from scraping my snow. Ah, that's that's not polite. That's not polite. Ah, you see? See now that. Now that is a that is a good looking sidewalk, okay? It's a good looking sidewalk. It's a good looking driveway. And you know what? We have got got our place cleaned up like that. Let's let's hand over the job. You know what? Little 97% I can I consider that complete, you guys. All right, now you will be able to leave the garage vehicles. What? Leave the vehicles in the garage until the next snow. Congratulations, you can start your adventure. Talk with your neighbors. Compl see what you can find in a private room. Ah, uh, here here's our private room. Door to the private room. I want to believe. Oh boy, our uh. Our person here believes in aliens. Do you believe in aliens? 
Is alien something that you believe is out there? Out there in the world, you know, watching us, just waiting for the right moment. And I think with plowing the driveway and plowing the sidewalk, I think we're going to leave it right there. We're going to leave it right there. We had a job well done. You know, I can see I can see the appeal of this game. You know, like I said, it's it reminds me a lot of the games where like like power wash simulator or lawn mowing simulator or pool cleaning simulator, the game that we played a while back. You know, I can see how the appeal of this game can come to a person who like they like to see a job being well done. They like to see a job that's in total disarray and just slowly seeing it get cleaned as it goes on. And it's just really satisfying to see a job well done at the end of it. And this is just the prologue. This is just the demo, which is why we just stopped at our garage. Um, you can see by that map, there's all kind of houses out there for you to do. So if you do buy this full game, or if you want to see me play this full game, you guys just let me know. Leave the comments below. Let me know if you want me to make a series on this game. All these simulator games, I love them. You know what? I love I love having, you know what, the power. The power of doing things at my hands. And if you guys want to enjoy that, uh, you can you obviously saw we can buy trucks, we can buy plows, there's all kind of things we can do. And who knows what we'll find under the snow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you want me to continue this series. You want to see more videos like this. This is a simulator weekend thing that we have started recently. So there isn't too many videos out yet. But if you subscribe to the channel, you hit the bell, you like the videos, you will see every single time we pop out as one simulator video every weekend. And it's always something different. You never know what you're going to expect from week to week. If you want to play this game for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description below. You can go and check it out. You can play the demo. You can play it by the full game. Whatever you want to do. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.